Hi again, good people. The CNC machine is under eternal development. That means I'm improving the CNC machine as I go. Every day I'm thinking about new things to do with it, to get it stronger, more precise, and everything like that. Last time you saw me rebuild the gantry. This works good. I have tried a little uh, test for a dust shoe, but this has nothing to do with the dust shoe I'm going to build. Today I'm going to tackle the stepper motor mounts. As you can see, they are quite loose. The set axis one I fixed uh, in the last episode, so this is okay. But today I'm going to tackle these stepper motor mounts. I'm going to improve on the angles I have here. And I'm going to do that by welding on some steel plates on the sides. That way I will stiffen up this movement and this movement. This is something I have to do. And I'm going to do it now. Na 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 Okay, as you can see here, this angle iron was something I found when I built the machine. You can see that the steel on the angle iron doesn't go further back than here. That means I can't bolt this side of the stepper motor tight to the angle iron. So I'm now thinking about improving it even more and welding on a bracket that goes on the back side here and down so I can tighten the stepper motor on this side also. Just to make the whole thing more sturdy and more precise. Don't do the same mistake I did. There are two set screws. My god. So there you have it, that was me modifying my stepper motor mounts on my CNC machine. This makes the mounts sturdier and more tight than the old ones. The old ones was very wobbly as you can see, and the new ones is very sturdy. As you also can see from this video, I am no expert welder at all. But I think these welds are doing the job and I'm learning something every time I use it. As you saw in the video, I also painted the mounts with two coats of black heavy duty paint. That's it for this time. Please check me out on Instagram, Facebook or check out my website, links down below. And if you want to see more videos of my DIY CNC machine or other things in my workshop, please hit that subscribe button. That's it for now. Goodbye.
Oh! <laughs>